Okay. Due to the rebels' continued disturbances, I've continu I've decided to install a coded access system into all of the domes. Okay, well, I'm going to record that. I have a screenshot of those codes now, which might come in handy later. I caught one of my assistants looking over this journal today. I'm glad I've chosen to write it in a language they cannot decipher. No, discuss security with each guildmaster. No problems expected from the maintainers, educators, and surveyors. Question the bookmakers. The bookmakers and the builders more closely. Today I heard several more reports of spirit sightings by some of the villagers. It seems that under Catherine's leadership, the rebels on the Black Moiety, as the villagers uh, obstinately, yeah, as the villagers obstinately insist on referring to them, was it Black Moiety? Is that what it says? I don't know that word. Is it a real word? Have attained uh, a new level of sophistication in their terror tactics and have renewed their campaign to intimidate the villagers into joining them. Play, pr uh, pray, no, pl is playing upon their shared superstitions. The villagers are certainly susceptible to this form of coercion especially given, of late, the rebels' increasing uh, acts of vandalism and theft. The... Itram? Like, why and then tram, it looks like? The Itram traps have been steadily fruitful this year. Apparently, the breakup of the islands has not adversely affected the subterranean ecosystems. Unfortunately, I imagine the rebels are experiencing a similarly generous harvest. No shortage of poison for their darts this season. Such morbid issues aside, the sudden availability has allowed me to refine a particularly pleasant extract for my pipe. One that is smoother than any of the others from recent years. So that must be what the trap is for that we found. You can get an, an Itram or something. And you capture those. He uses it for his his smoking pipe, but the rebels use it for their poison darts. So it's multi-purpose, apparently. Chemical analysis of one of the rebel knives has yielded curious results. Its composition contains elements that are unlike anything I've encountered on the islands. It appears they have access to a resource of which I am unaware. Perhaps a... Perhaps a mine on an uncharted island. Notice, uh, most of the knives have been found on the south side of the village. This is the same area in which there have been reports of people mysteriously disappearing. I think a closer inspection of the area is warranted. The fact they, uh, the fact that they have distinctive knives as a sign of their presence concerns me. They're growing more bold and seem to be no longer. They seem to no longer fear discovery of their hideout. Oops. The latest measurements indicate that the recent trend has continued. The movement of the islands has slowed tremendously. My previous estimates predicted a total collapse of approximately three, uh, three months. But with the new figures, I am uncertain. I have merely finished writing the new this other age. Nothing that's incomprehensible, but it's nice and symmetrical, so I'll try drawing that real quick. So it's the same framing device as the, the general... They, it looks like they have a, a constant shape. They look like the Roman numeral 3 specifically in both cases, uh, the bold part. Then there seems to be a less bold part that has like a vertical line and then some shapes. So the first one is two boxes. The one we saw before is a box on the left and a, and a, a 
side carrot or something on the on the right that makes it look like it's a K in the middle. But those are other ages we can apparently access. Like that's where what he's connecting to. So it seems like this might feature multiple worlds after all then. So I've merely I've nearly finished the writing of this new age, and I have every faith that it will indeed be a safe place for us to relocate to. Yet it would be helpful to know what has caused the halt in this age's breakup. It is possible that it's a state is it possible that it's stable after all? If so, I must discover how this age differs from my less successful attempts. My examinations of the the previous age have thus far proven inconclusive. Or perhaps someone is repairing the damage to the fifth age. If so, it would almost certainly be At Atrus's doing. I have reluctantly decided to abandon my experiments into the behavior of the water of this age, as there are more pressing matters on which I must now concentrate, leaving me little time for such speculative research. For future reference, however, my investigations up to this point have revealed the following. I believe the remarkable properties of the, of the waters to be caused by a life form that resides in it, specifically a type of bacteria. I am imagining a motile unicellular organism, but one with structures capable of holding bits of water, whose combined effect via surface tension, a stronger force, causes the composite body of water to move in response to heat. Prolonged exposure to extreme heat, for example a period of extended boiling, seems to kill the bacteria, bacteria which would explain its dramatic aversion to heat sources. Unfortunately, these theories are still not fully tested, and I remain ignorant both of its deeper nature and its possible uses. An exciting development. Last night, squad of a squad of maintain of maintainers stumbled upon a lone rebel scout and obtained from him a most incredible device it is a crystal that somehow powers these flawed linking books much as they own much as my own system does but with an obvious advantage it is small and weighs only but a few pounds making it completely portable catherine must have fabricated the device before i captured her obviously with an explicit Denis schematic she must have brought with her to this age. If only, I'd ac if only I'd had access to such a document all these years. Regardless, I can now concentrate solely on the writing of the ages, and need no longer worry about building elaborate powers supplies for each new book I write. This is a sobering reminder, however, that I must continue to seek an avenue to Denis, Regaining access to the, to the resources, these the resources there may be crucial to the completion of my mission. I've got a box with a scribble around it, basically. That's the last page. So one other thing that came up here is that we know that this knife, there it is, this knife over here uh, is apparently used by the rebels specifically. So that means that that we now know that the uh, the guy that helped me. When that when I, once when I got caught in a cage and somebody was stealing my book and that other person dr uh, drugged him and took him off uh, and then and then uh, jammed the switch open, we have reason to believe that that person's not on the side of the person we're after. I was wondering uh, if uh, one of my concerns was that maybe they were they were planning to betray me, like they were planning on using me to get what they want, and. They might have even they might have been working for the guy that we're trying to stop, or even have been the guy we're trying to stop. But they're but they know I'm coming, and they're like manipulating me in order to get uh, get what they want. But right now, that rebel guy is clearly from the organization that is against the guy we're after, and he uses both the knife and the poison darts that both are indicative of that. Could still be someone in disguise or manipulating me, and this and this would be an effective way of doing so because I'm totally out of my element here. But for the moment, I have reason to think that they're, they're the opposite for now. That they're probably against the person that we're against, and so enemy of my enemy is my friend, and so on. Yeah, I wanted to come back to this just because I saw this complicated diagram, and but I kept reading. But I don't. I don't really think that I'll be able to use anything here. 
it's something that circulates air or water or something, and it's like and it has a crank. But really, I think the only takeaway here is that it has a crank. So I don't think the complex diagram is going to help me solve a puzzle or use the thing at any point. Okay, so we gained some information here. How about you guys? Pen? Inkwell? Or ink pot? Or maybe? This is probably the ink and pen, so that's probably just an actual, like, tea kettle or something. It looks like the rotating eyes we saw before. Is what was the thing that comes to mind for me. Another closed tea pot kettle thing. You're interesting, Solarium. Last week, while monitoring the situation of the villagers from the scope in my survey room, I observed one of the natives swim out to a small object that appeared to be floating, but anchored near the entrance to the bay. I ordered the object removed from the water for inspection. Several days later, however, I was surprised to see another floating... another floating there. The missing object had apparently and quite mysteriously, been replaced with a new one overnight. I have long been aware of the existence of similar artifacts on the villager's island, but have paid them little notice until now. Tomorrow, I shall send surveyors to catalog the others. That's the eyeball, basically. They're floating in the, in the water? Yeah. Hi there. Three. Okay, so that eyeball. Just writing that down with the other symbols that I've found on eyeballs, just in case it matters. Lots of strange little knickknacks, and they're probably, in many cases, they're probably prototype models. Maybe not, maybe not even prototypes, but just like models to simulate the general construction he's planning on making. The prototype is usually functional or something, but these might just be visual models for later projects. It looks like this thing's supposed to stab into something and then take a reading. It actually looks like stuff I've used. Like, vaguely reminiscent of stuff I've used when I'm doing, like, surveying jobs or taking soil samples and stuff like that. Like, that's... Reminiscent, but not the same as things I've worked with. Anything up here? Oh, hi. That's how I got here. Don't really need to go back that way. Or do I? Wow, you can. Seems a little pointless, but you can do it. I just wanted to see if, if going through it backwards would somehow reveal anything visually, but it didn't, didn't seem like... It's just a regular-ass, like, continuous tube. We're not gonna really find much in there, and I, I'll just take the, the front door like a freaking adult instead. How about that? You burn something. That's all I get? Alright. Back in you go. <laughs> okay, so that may have been a linking book. Or it could be a, a research- no, it's a linking book, never mind, it has a screen. So he doesn't want me following him through there. That's where the journal was. Next desk. Oh, top one opens. Looks like so pebble samples of the different rocks on this. Yeah. They're keeping rock samples around, basically. Because he was cataloging the elements he could find for the crafting he wanted to do with the inks and stuff. So that makes sense. Those almost look like gunpowder things or something. Here's the trap we've seen before. In the other room. Nothing seems interactive at the moment, and I don't really have any devices to go work with or any recipes to test. Frogs? 
or frog-like creatures. He's got, he's got a bunch of specimens for his studies, basically. Those might be the things he's catching with this, these traps, then. The Yitram, as best as I could try to figure out how to read it for th with that writing. There's two doors. Is he just looking at the pattern inside the wood to see how the trees grow? That moves. Okay, you could probably put something in there to crush it or to hold it when you work on it. The best I can do with some of the stuff is just assume it's some kind of tool used for measuring or observing his surroundings. Although this... T Actually, actually, no. This is all a printing press, isn't it? Or not a printing press, but this is how he makes his books. Oh, that's what that this weird thing is. Right. He's, I think he stacks up the papers that he's made, and then I think he, like, threads them. I think this is where he threads them and glues them, essentially, to, like, make the book itself, and then he fastens it in there to hold it closed while, it's, while it sticks. So that he can bind his books. And he's checking the, he's checking the uh, quality of the wood for... because he's looking for what he should use for his paper. But the other, the other, de the, this one is more about cataloging, cataloging and observing, and then this is his desk for keeping records, essentially, or prototyping. So he has, like, these discrete workstations, more or less. I've been looking at tables so far, so let's let myself rotate a few times just to see if I'm missing any, like, switches or interactive objects. Perhaps not. Do you open? So this should be a different direction, yep. Than the one that I've already been. Na, 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 na. I haven't even seen freaking Jurassic Park in so long. I don't know why it's still just so strongly reminds me of that. It's probably not even a correct memory. It's probably like warped over to, over the years. So this goes somewhere, possibly new. I hear animals. We found ourselves a new tram. Now we find ourselves somewhere new, I hope. Whoa. That last frame of that animation dropped significantly in, pr in uh, quality for a second there. That was a strange visual. Let's see. I see the trick here. You're supposed to rotate the thing, but then not fire off, and then you can get out on the other side of the, of the uh, landing, si uh, landing site. I'm going to go this way first, though, because I haven't yet. It is remarkable how much the Cyan's art style has not necessarily changed. Like, I, despite the decades in between, I can generally kind of recognize this game as being the same people that made Abduction. For a number of reasons. Yeah, this thing has the creepy... This somehow has, like, the weirdest visual, like, being walking into the inside of an eye. With, like, these being eyelashes or something. Okay, the thing in the middle that looks like an iris doesn't help. Or a pupil.
N and then the music cu cuts out. Goodbye, music. It looks like a branching path, but I guess it's not. Do you... Do you work? Oh, there's, there's a button. All your islands look the same! Am I gonna be able to recognize the, the islands by their silhouette by the end of the game? Because right now I definitely don't. Um... Okay... Ah... Uh, my first guess would be that this is probably a silhouette of the entire... This is probably the silhouette of the entire, uh, series of islands, right? Uh, not silhouette, sorry, the, a map. Four major islands that are all connected very easily, and then one minor, tider, tiny island that's significantly hard, harder to attach to. I'm gonna switch my photos real quick, because I believe this is reminiscent of the Tetris block-looking stuff I had before. Yeah. We had a five-spoked wheel, and one of them was by- we had a two by two, we had a two and three, we had a one, we had a four, four, three, and we had a L-shape Tetris block. So these are all the different- these are the different, uh, shapes that must symbolize the islands. We were on a- we were in some sort of big water pumping facility looking place that seemed to- uh, have five pipes sticking out in different directions, like the spokes of the of the wheel diagram, and those seem to be going to each of the islands, which seem to be symbolized by this stuff. And if you look at the islands, they kind of do reminisce, uh, look reminiscent of that stuff. There's a there's a little cube island, there's L island, there's bulky island, and there's cut out island that looks like it's missing this one piece of the small island here. So if I click on you, does the is it gonna is it gonna glow or something? That was odd. So am I choosing which one has a weird chunk of water sticking out of it? Or a metallic object, or...? So one of them, so it slowly sucks it back in, then brings it out on top of the other one. That's the big one. Let's go take a look. Is it a giant bulging thing of water? Um... Boy! Didn't know where I was going just now. This elevator has a back that's open. I'll get to that in a second. Something to process for later. So that, yeah, that's just water sticking out of here. You can see the water curving out. It seems to basically make up the topography. Like, it's not just bulging out, I think it's actually in the shape of the island. Much like how we had a holographic display in the last game that would rem that would show us what, what mist was shaped like. I think this one is showing me, via these water... ...things, what the island itself is shaped like. What I'm supposed to do with that is not entirely clear. But, th we have a map room island area, apparently. Let's take a picture of this. Take a picture of this real quick, just because the layout of the islands is worth having. This gives me a chance to associate the visual of the five tetris -y block things with the shape of the islands themselves. And what that means. This is weird, though.
Okay, so this is a display of the island I have selected. So you can select an island from the other room, then you can make this thing stick out. Which will disappear if I walk away, because it doesn't want to render all those things from a different angle. This appears to be one of those, like... One of those cheesy things that, in the 90s, you would see in a lot of people's, like, offices and crap. Is that, a? Uh, it was a series of, st of metal rods that were all on a grid. And you could, like, put your hand against it, or your face against it, or really any object against it on one side, and it would push the rods outward into the general shape on the other side. So it was like almost like making an instant sculpture of something in a, in a sort of low-res kind of way. And so sometimes people would have this stuff like all over the place back then. I even had one in my room as a kid, I think. Just up on a shelf somewhere. Except this is the using that way of displaying the topography of the island itself. Which is interesting enough, except for the part of, I don't have... It's interesting to find, but at the moment I don't think I have a specific thing I don't, I'd want to look at, necessarily. Like a reason to go for this. I'm just gonna go for you. There we go. Because you are a single button. So it should just be one for you? Yep. Yep, that's the entire island of... Other Island. Whatever we're gonna call it. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but cool. It might just be here to look cool. Or be, or be useful for the people who lived here, as opposed to me for progression purposes, but... If it comes up, I know where it is. We have a lot of places to go. There's this place over here. There's this place over here, and I still need to remember that if I go back to the tram... There's still another direction to go, if I rotate the tram. Trying to keep an eye out for any levers and whatnot. Another one of you guys. You spinning things, which really looks like an eye opening and closing, right here. But for now, I don't think I can interact with them. There's like these weird spiked things. Maybe the point is that somebody in the water could climb up them. Maybe they used them for hunting fish or something. Can I look in it, please? Um... Okay. I couldn't really make out the image. I, th I thought it was going to show me like a stop motion, like, oh look, you can tell the eyes opening and closing. Because they do spinning, th I don't know what it's called, but there's a, th a thing that children would have sometimes where you spin a little carousel around and you could see, see and see through, look through the slit and you'd see like the, essentially the equivalent of like a pop-up book, but it'd be spinning. And so it'd be, a, it'd be like gifts for people in the 1920s essentially. <laughs> uh, it's not an entirely wrong assessment. Uh... But I wasn't- I didn't really make out an image when I looked at the image part. There's a book in there. Didn't really think so, no. Um... I'm looking at my diagrams for the eyeballs, I'm looking for... ...basically everything I've found so far, and I don't think any of them are gonna help me solve... ...this, necessarily. So I'm going to add it to my list of pictures. Because clearly, some kind of code goes into this... ...thing that very much looks like... ...a book holder. This very- this actually reminds me of Mist 1, yeah. There'd be various objects in the environment that contain books, and you have to unlock the secret to getting inside them, so you can then reach the, uh, book and visit that age. But I don't necessarily know what will do that yet. Okay, so we've been here, this is the map. And this is also the map. That's a dead end that makes this thing open, which leads to... ...not much else, for now. But now we know that those spinning things 
if I can figure out how to make them stop spinning and open, they might all contain the books of ages. Let's see, is there a back of the... Is there a back of the area here? No, the crack only exists upstairs. Okay. So there's the the island of water is still there. Can I look down? I can't look down? There's oh I, I just click on the book. Nope. I wanna look down because there's clearly like a hole there or something, but I can't look at it. Okay. I don't see anything. So let's try you then. And this is where you would prime yourself to leave normally. But I'm sitting here like, ooh, there's an alternate platform like right there. Shouldn't we take a look, see? Why, yes, we shall. Am I... Really? It has to close again? Okay. <laughs> One of the downsides of a game having all these pre-rendered cutscenes and stuff, or pre-rendered uh, camera directions is, of course, the game constantly has to reset various things back to their default state by playing an animation backwards. Otherwise, they have to re-render the entire setting from every camera angle that features that thing changing, or there'd be continuity there'd be continuity problems. Which is it's a it's a decent solution for the problem that they came up with. They came up with a decent solution, but it's definitely like, oh come on, no ah ah is kind of the outcome sometimes. Oh hi. Oh, that's me doing a 180, apparently. Elevator? Yep. Well, this feels like a trap. <laughs> this feels like bad ending elevator. I won't say which game because it's a spoiler to point out the game, but this is another one of those moments that uh, educates me about the influences, perhaps of uh, some of the other games I've played that have been inspired by Myst. Some people have been surprised by how fast I proceed through some of the puzzles in some of these games. I'm talking about Myst specifically. But uh, I've played so many games that are derivative of Myst at this point that going back and playing Myst is actually like, oh yeah, it's this puzzle I already know. As opposed to when everyone played it in 19... 93, you'd be like, what am I doing? What's happening? It's a very different experience. I will say video games age better than movies in some cases, though. Like, this was once upon a time one of the top video games ever. And, or, the, or missed was, I mean. And I'm still like, oh yeah, look at this, and this is neat. Ah. Uh, well, everyone's running away from me. But I went, when I went back and watched Ghostbusters for the first time, it's like, oh yeah, this has basically been spoiled straight to hell. And it has no ability to make any impact anymore because of society. Whereas Mist, still, I'm like, ooh, look at this. Bye. Wait, I need that. Princess Leia, no. No. I'm pretty sure I need that. Isn't that how- isn't that how I- what I came in on? Where am I? Oh no, this is a different- this is a different room. Right? Is there a door on the other side? I- I don't think there is. Okay, so this is a different shuttle bay, because the door- there's no door over here, which is the one I took before. 
Then I went across to that side, and there's no door there either. So this is somebody else escaping somewhere else. Don't know who. They're so shielded visually that I can't even really make out their gender, let alone their identity. Okay. 